Now, Nigerians across states commemorated the 30th anniversary of the annulment of the June 12, 1993 presidential election adjudged the fairest and freest. Many believe MKO Abiola won the election lunch light. Details in this package. <laughs> This session is in honor of the acclaimed winner of the 1993 presidential election in Nigeria, Moshud Kashimau Abiola. The election was annulled by the then military ruler, Ibrahim Badamosi Babangida, as protests sprung up across the country. In the midst of this, Abiola died in government custody and the controversy surrounding his death still lingers. Thirty years after, members of Abiola's family want President Tinubu to work towards ensuring that the late MKO's legacies are sustained. One of such is to end poverty. One of Abiola's sons, Hamid, speaks. Democracy Day would always continue to be a day that will never be forgotten in the history of our country. Why? Because of the sacrifice of our father, late Chief MKO Abiola. Who made, you know, who laid down his life for us to be able to appreciate, you know, and to be able to have a day like this? Ogun State Governor Dakbo Abiodun, who is represented by his Deputy Governor Nimot Salako Uyedele, eulogizes Abiola as the icon of Nigeria's democracy. To extend my uh, condolences to the Abiola family, but to also let them know that we stand with them on this day, 30 days on from the day of the election and uh, assure them that the government and people of Nigeria will always look back on that day and look back on National Abiola as the person who has guided democracy to where we are today. And they should be proud to be the legacy of this uh, uh, symbol of hope and symbol of democracy. In Ekiti State, also from the Southwest, at the commissioning of two blocks of six classrooms at CAC Secondary School, Ijeru Ekiti, facilitated by an outgone member of the Federal House of Representatives, Umi Ogunlola, the governor, Abiodun Oyebanji, tasked politicians to ensure that the sacrifices made to install democracy in Nigeria are not in vain. Democracy offers opportunities for representation. And with what the government is doing all over the country, that democracy still remains the best form of government. But we must remember also that some people have paid the supreme sacri sacri uh, uh, sacrifice for democracy. So those of us that are benefiting from it must ensure that we deliver to the people, especially in the memory of those that have, that have laid down their lives. On the streets, Youths under the ages of the National Youth Council of Nigeria troop out, resounding the need for the federal government and state governors to create youth desks in agencies and parastatals. All our, our sense of reasoning appeal to the presidency to try as much as they can to work more on palliatives for all the citizens of the country and they should make sure that this palliative gets to the grassroots. In furtherance to that, we are also appealing to the president of the country to uh, take into cognizance the minimum wage for workers and these are part of the things that we know that will uh, cushion the effects of the first subsidy remover to make life more easy for workers, for citizens, for traders, and what have you. From Bayasa State in the south-south region of the country, the anniversary of Democracy Day comes with mixed feelings. While some lament that Nigerians are yet to benefit from the dividends of democratic governance, others say the worst democratic government is much better than any military regime. When you talk about democracy, there must be clarity to the people. Because when the people don't understand what, what, is, going on in, what is going on in the uh, uh, system of government, that means they are not operating under a democratic system. When you go back the early 80s and the rest, early 90s, you see the NMPC was built by the military. You get? The LNG was built by the military. The democracy, at least, they, they should show us things they have built for us to see. You understand? As much as, okay, the only thing they will tell us is because it's the government for the people and by the people and the rest. Those are, those are fallacies. Democracy is a scam. Really here in Bayasa, there is no light, okay? Now we're looking at the light aspect. 
no light and no good road as well. So they really have a lot to do. They have a lot to do. I think on what we're actually enjoying is the grace of God. Nigerians youth are very talented. They have something upstairs. All we need, we just need support. We need people who can help us. At least let's ask this democracy so that Nigeria will benefit from it. Something that is going on in our country now is not something that we can be part of. Like, uh, if you look around, you see some children, they are not going to school. They don't help. But we have government, we have president, we have people that is capable of helping children in school, but they are not in school. The best form of military government is worse than the worst democratic government in the, anywhere in any part of the world. Democracy comes with its attendant uh, problems, but it's still the best form of government because within democracy, you see participation. You see, it's a participatory kind of government where you don't have few persons, you know, uh, uh, clamping down on the collective patrimony of the generality of the people. In his commemoration message, the Delta State Governor, Sheriff of Oriwori, calls on leaders in the country to deliver the dividends of democracy for the people to sustain democracy in Nigeria. The governor insists the country needs unity and development for sustainable development. Then today being democracy, we have survived 24 years of uh, interrupted democracy. Uh, the democracy is, has come to stay. Uh, we know that we have our challenges. Uh, we know that um, uh, we continue to do more because we have also achieved, but we pray for us to achieve more. So that's my prayer, and uh, we continue to do our best. Anybody in leadership will continue to do his best to serve this nation. What we want for this nation is more unity. We want more unity, we want more cooperation. We want peace, I want progress. And that's my wish, and I know that more development will come, more peace will come, and more unity will come. In Kwara State, an event is also put up to mark Democracy Day, spearheaded by Isa Aremu, a labor leader. Aremu maintains that despite the enormous challenges facing the country, there are still several benefits of the democratic system. Within these 24 years, unions have taken the advantage of democratic space to organize, to freely associate, and we have not been harassed, we have not been detained under the, compared to under the military. This democratic process are delivered, you know, uh, space for unions to organize to protect their members. The three national minimum wage reviews we have done, they were done under this dispensation. Aremu calls for more youth and women participation in governance. Women have become more visible, you know, in governance, you know, although we can expect more. I look forward to the next election to have female presidential candidates, female vice president, female governors, female senators, you know, and uh, that's the way to go because democracy is by its inclusion. So you can't leave half of your population. And youth too have to be more visible. Former President Muhammadu Buhari had declared June 12 as Nigeria's Democracy Day and posthumously awarded Nigeria's highest honor, Grand Commander of the Federal Republic, to Chief MKO. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.